such a love-hate relationship. Many of us love seeing beautiful white trees, the Bradford pear trees in the spring. For others, it can be an allergy nightmare. But did you know that it's actually considered an invasive species here in South Carolina? Meteorologist Corey Smith has more on a new program that is aimed to replace those Bradford pears and stop them from spreading across the state. The Bradford pear tree was introduced to the United States in the early 1900s from Asia to fight heat blight. It then became a popular choice for homeowners and landscapers due to its white flowers in the spring and vibrant red leaves in the fall. But a naturally spreading variation called the calorie pear, which is a combination of the Bradford pear and other trees, is now causing issues. They have thorns all over them. They grow in really big, thick bunches. Uh, they cause a lot of problems for people trying to get them off their land. Uh, the thorns can pop tires. The thorns have been known to injure animals and people. They're one of the worst invasive plants we have in the region. David Coyle, a professor at Clemson, says these issues, along with the uncontrolled growth of the calorie pear, is the main reason to replace these trees. Bradford Pear Bounty is a program that we are putting on with Clemson and the South Carolina Forestry Commission and various municipalities. And this program lets residents get a free native replacement tree if they cut down the Bradford pear in their yard or on their property. David Jenkins of the South Carolina Forestry Commission says even though Bradford pears aren't causing many issues themselves, they help spread the calorie pear. They're spreading. We're seeing them move out into a lot of environments. And you, as you can see, this is almost all calorie pear out here. Not much, much else can grow. And in forestry, we typically will thin when, when the trees are, are growing too close together. And when we come in and thin, that gives these enough light to take over. And they're, they're not going anywhere. But with the Bradford Pear Bounty Program, forestry and environmental experts hope it will lessen the problem and slow the spread of the calorie pear across the state. From Columbia, I'm meteorologist Corey Smith. Well, on Saturday, people are encouraged to bring a picture of the cut down Bradford pear tree to get a free replacement tree for their yard. And if this weekend doesn't work for you, many other bounties will be scheduled this year.